Hello YouTube, my name is Oso Guinea Pig. This is a submission for Sharing is Caring, and let's get this started. So, online there are a lot of different designs and variations of wall block update detectors like this one. So you can see that when I place the torch on the block, that block is receiving an update. So, this is just the output temporarily, so you can see what it looks like. But, this design in particular that I have created, I like because not only is it really compact, but it is extremely cheap, meaning that there are no sticky pistons involved, so it's very easy for survival, and you only need two redstone torches and one piece of redstone dust. So let's come over here, and this is what the raw wiring is for the block up detector. So, um... You see that it's creating a block update, and we have one regular piston here and another regular piston here. Pretty fast, and also the um, the pulse it creates is not a one tick pulse, which can be useful because when they are only one tick pulses, you have to make pulse length limiters sometimes, depending on what your output is leading into. So, we can put a piston here, and you'll see it's not a one tick pulse. Alright, so now let's go ahead and build it. This is, um, a two by four by one high except for one uh, torch that is below the piston so we're gonna start off with a piston like that and a torch on the side of a block underneath that piston we're then gonna place redstone dust right here and then on the side of that piston we're gonna place a block now, with with this, what's going to happen is when a block is right here, it is going to power this dust, which is in turn going to power this block, which is in turn going to power this piston. So you're going to see a result like this. Alright, however, the block up detector is caused by four single block into a position where it is going to be in front of this piston, retracted but not extending it over to this side. So how we're going to do that is we're going to put a block there with a torch on the side of that and then we're going to place a piston next to that torch facing inward and what that will do is if I get rid of this dust is it will force this block into this position. Now you can see that this dust is being powered, which is powering this block, but the piston is not extending. So when I block update, you can see that this piston is updated, but then because this is now unpowered, this becomes powered and it forces it back into a uh, block update position. So yeah, that is my block update detector, and I'm submitting it to Sharing is Caring by Cubehamster because I think a lot of people will find it useful in a survival scenario because it is incredibly compact, and it's very uh, light on resources. You don't need any slime balls to make sticky pistons, and also you only need two regular pistons, and beyond that, you only need one torch there, one torch there, and one piece of redstone dust. So it is very good for survival, and I think a lot of people would find it useful for that. Alright, I will see you guys next time.